When it comes to computer-based graphics or images, there are two main categories. Photoshop falls into the first of those categories, which is raster. And you may ask, Kelly, what does raster mean? Raster means the image is made up of pixels. So if I go to Photoshop's Zoom tool and click once, and let's say I want to click on this buckle to see it a little bit closer. Each time I click, it's zooming in, and you could see your zoom level of 200% here and in the title bar, the name of the image. As I keep clicking to zoom in, I can start to see some of those square pixels, which is actually short for picture element, P-I-X-E-L. And as soon as I zoom to a certain percentage, in this case 600% on this image, I'll see a pixel grid, which may only show up if you have an accelerated video card or VRAM. VRAM stands for dedicated video, V for video, random access memory. It makes your video faster, makes zooming in and out and everything faster. So if I go very far to Photoshop's maximum of 3,200%, here is a pixel, there's a pixel, everywhere we have a pixel. Now if I go back to View and Fit on Screen, in View Fit on Screen, the image looks sharp and crisp and fine. And this is the first category of computer-based graphics. Now I'm going to hop over to Adobe Illustrator which was actually Adobe's first product. Illustrator started shipping in 1987, and technically it's not its first product for Adobe. They had Adobe Postscript before Illustrator, but the first software program that Adobe shipped was Adobe Illustrator. And Illustrator, I'm going to open up my vector horse. And I'm going to disable my syncing for now. I'm not syncing my settings to the cloud yet. So if I look at this vector image, you can clearly see it's a drawing. I liken vector to a cartoon. And if I flip back to Photoshop, raster to a movie. For the Mac users out there, I'm hitting Command Tab to switch applications. If you're on Windows, that is Alt Tab. So vector is made up of points. And let's take a look at a point. But don't worry if you don't have Illustrator. You don't need it to see this file. We can actually place the file in Photoshop. But I wanted to show what Illustrator does. Illustrator was meant from the ground up to create computer-based artwork. So in Adobe Illustrator, if I click the Direct Selection tool and select a piece of the horse's nose, you can see those all-important points. And if I switch to Illustrator's Zoom tool and click a few times to zoom in, I'm at 400%, and this is technically an anchor and a handle. And the beauty of Illustrator is that I can easily reshape the horse's nose by grabbing a handle and making it a little bit wider or a little bit smaller. I could also click the fill color or double click the fill color and change the tone, maybe go for a different shade. When I click OK, that updates. So points are scalable. There is no resolution. They're known as resolution independent images. If I go back to view, fit artboard in window, artboard is Illustrator's technical term for page, and I don't want to save this. So I will close the file and hit Don't Save and simply click back on Photoshop. We're going to compare them side by side in Photoshop. So I'll go to the Move tool, the top tool in the toolbar. That way, if it lands in the wrong spot, I can pick it up and move it. And if you don't have Illustrator, this is how you can see the horse that was actually traced. There's a feature in Illustrator called Image Trace, where I took the photo that was raster and had it turn into vector. Vector images will look sharp and crisp on a business card or a billboard. You could print it at 3% or 3,000%. And because there are no pixels, it's always sharp and crisp and typically a smaller file size. 
so let's place it in Photoshop. I wish it said File Import, but they've always used the term Place in Adobe programs to bring in images or text. So from your File menu, choose Place, and I'll go grab the Illustrator.ai, or the Vector Image. When I place it, I'm going to crop to just the live artwork or art box. Illustrator's page size doesn't really matter. It can determine the size of the artwork based on what you've created on the page. So I want to get more of the horse in, so I'm just choosing Art Box. But if you left it on the defaults, it would be fine also. Once it's placed, you'll see Illustrator brought in the vector file and makes a layer. And technically, you'll see an icon pop up once I choose to place this that makes it a smart object layer, which is an immensely powerful feature of Photoshop. So there I've got vector points, but it's asking me, would you like to size or scale this or move it? I'll pick it up and move it to the right, and I'll just press Return on my Mac keyboard or Enter on Windows, or double click to place the vector. And there's that little smart object I was referring to, which is a technology Adobe has had in Photoshop since CS2. But side by side, raster is pixels, vector is points. If I go to my magnifying glass tool and do what's called a marquee zoom, maybe I want to zoom to the eye cover. I will click and drag. And because I have an accelerated video card, it's called a scrubby zoom. It's kind of a live zoom that drags in or out, I'm starting to see pixels in the horse's eyelashes. I can actually click and drag up to zoom out, but again, if you don't have an accelerated video card, that may not work for you. I'll click and drag on the vector to zoom in, and when I'm zoomed in here, it may look like pixels, but that's because it's picking up the original resolution of the original horse. So don't worry if you see pixels here. If I go to view 100%, it should be sharp and crisp and clean, depending on your Photoshop file size resolution. Now I'll choose View Fit on Screen, and I want to finish this lesson by explaining that raster versus vector, pixels versus points, does have two other terms you may run across. Raster may also be called bitmap. Technically, that's a bit on or off. It's mapping the bits to your screen. And that was the original WYSIWYG, what you see is what you get displays. They were bitmap displays. Vector may also be called Bezier Curve. And I'll just type that in with my type tool. You don't have to do this part, but it's B-E-Z-I-E-R, Bezier Curve, named after Pierre Bezier, a car designer for Renault in the 1920s who mastered this technology of scaling images based on anchors and direction handles and really describing the objects with math. So I will go to my Move tool, click my Type tool, and click below Raster. And that may also be called Bitmap. And I'll move it down. So that is your brief overview of Raster versus Vector, Pixels versus Points, Bitmap versus Bezier Curve, and Photoshop is the leading raster editing application and works on primarily photos. But we can do a lot more. So let this information marinate, and when you go back and tell your friends what you learned today, you can explain raster versus vector.